What's up and welcome back to my channel, Long Time No See. I do apologize for that. I've been super busy and uh, I just couldn't keep up with making videos, but here I am, I'm back and I'm ready to go. Um, this is gonna be a quick video. It's just gonna be an update from, you saw it in the title, it's from my seborrheic dermatitis. If I'm saying that wrong, I do apologize. It's basically when your skin gets irritated and uh, it, it gets inflamed, it turns red, it gets sore, it gets itchy, and then it starts peeling. For me, I suffer it from my face, around the side of my nose, and my scalp. And trust me, it's, it's not fun. And you're not able to wear black because your shirt will be full of skin because it peels off. And it sucks, but um, I'll leave the uh, definition of it in the description box or actually I'll leave it right here so you guys can read it on your own uh, but yeah many of you guys have been messaging me DMing me on Instagram asking me for an update video so this is be my third update video if you guys want to hit me up and ask me any kind of questions go ahead and DM me I'll leave my Instagram name somewhere on here and you guys can DM me but um I'm just going to be talking about things that I suffer from and remedies that help me. Now, it changes all the time. And my last video, my last update video that I made on this was, wow, I can't believe it. It was over two years ago. And you know what? Um, throughout the entire pandemic, it was... Actually, you know what? It wasn't that bad for me. The reason why is because we had to wear a mask and wearing a mask, I, I didn't care. If I was flaring up, if my skin was peeling, if I look like a monster, I just put a mask on and I can go out and no one would ever know. For my last video, there's a lot of things that has changed. Now, uh, I don't have a handful of the things that I talked about the last time because I don't use it anymore but for the ones that I do still have I'll go ahead and discuss it and I'll tell you guys about new remedies that is actually helping me even better so let's go ahead and start off with the scalp and then I'm gonna go with my face because those are the two places I get affected the most I don't normally get it on my chest or anywhere else so yeah let's go ahead and start with the scalp now for the last video, I talked about from my dermatologist using, um, I'm gonna butcher the name, it's Ketoconazole Shampoo. Um, it looks like this. But yeah, I talked about this and um, I stopped using it. And the reason why is because it actually stopped working for me. Why? I have no idea. My Dermatologist still wants me to continue using it, but I don't see the sense of it because I do feel like it's actually damaging my hair as well. And um, you know my hair, I, I need my hair. And um, yeah, it just stopped working. So this I have not opened yet. It's a brand new container. I have not opened it yet. So that one I have stopped using. Um, this, Clobetasol. This is the one that, um, it's not a shampoo. Whenever you get like a flare up on your scalp, or whenever it gets really itchy or um, it starts flaking, you just get this and you just squirt it on the affected areas and you just kind of rub it in and you can just go out. And it does help. It relieves the pain, it relieves the itch, it does help. Now this is not over the counter. You're gonna need a prescription from this from your dermatologist as well. Um, but yeah, this I use rarely i rarely 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 ever use it but i do have it just in case i need it i also talked about the derma e shampoo this one right here as you can see i still use it um this is pretty much a new bottle and this is how much i have this is how much i use now for this one i use it once in a great while i don't know if it's actually working anymore but i like to use it to switch up my shampoo because the next item i show you you're gonna want to kind of switch it up every once in a while now i don't wash my hair every day uh, i wash my hair maybe twice a week depending on what i do during the day if i sweat if i go to the casino if i go to a bar and my hair ends up smelling like smoke i'll go ahead and i'll wash it but i don't go out anymore so um, i wash my hair maybe twice a week and i still use this every once in a while now i'm going to talk to you about what works the most for me on my scalp uh, as you can see i don't have any more peeling i don't have any more soreness i don't have any more itchiness 
Um, the thing that works for me is Celsin Blue. Yep, it is the old Celsin Blue. Now, uh, this one is the maximum strength medicated one. Now, this is over the counter. You can get this anywhere. Uh, the reason why I like to switch it up between these two is this one, not everyone is too keen about the smell on this. It's super menthol -y. So now what I do is I'll wash my hair like normal, I'll put this on, and I'll leave it on there for at least two songs. I always have music playing when I'm in the shower. For at least two songs, I'll leave it in there and then I'll wash it off. So I'll use this most of the time and then this every once in a great, great while. I've been using this ever since maybe about two years now since my last video and let me tell you it has worked wonders for me. Now I'm saying for me might not work for you but I it doesn't hurt giving it a try. I have not had a flare up on my scalp and I have no idea when the last time was. Over a year or maybe even two years ago I have no idea but it has definitely worked for me and I am not going back to any of this dermatologist stuff because this 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 works and if it works why not just stick with it um give it a try it is super inexpensive i don't know how much it was maybe about six seven bucks and uh yeah it's an anti-dandruff shampoo it has worked for me now if it works for me it might work for you but i'm not saying it will but just try it out anyways okay okay so enough about my scalp let's go ahead and talk about my face for my face the last time i talked to you guys about was hydrocrotazone and this is the 2.5 percent i don't use this anymore what else did i talk about there was other things i talked about but i totally forgot what it was but whatever i talked about i don't use it anymore um my dermatologist has just prescribed me this um how do you pronounce this try Amosinolone. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it in the, um, or I'll put a picture of it right here. It's a cream and um, as you can see, I have not opened it yet because I never did have to use it. There was no sense for me to use it. I've been taking a lot of this for my skin and my hair. This is collagen. I got this at Costco, but now I see you can get it at like Whole Foods and Sprouts and pretty much anywhere. You can get it online as well. Um, this is supposed to be good for your hair, your nails, and your skin. I use so much of this. It's just a powder that I put in my drink, and then I blend it up, and you can't taste it at all. There's, this one is actually unflavored. I believe they have a chocolate one as well, but I wanted an unflavored one because I do mix it with my smoothies, and I don't want my smoothies to have a chocolatey taste. But yeah, so this I use, and um, I don't know if it's helping, but it tastes good, so why not? Another thing that I believe has helped me a lot was something that a new dermatologist has prescribed me, and um, this is not over-the-counter. Over it's called Promisep Topical Cream. This is what it is. And it looks like this. It comes in a tube like this. So what happens is um, I just put this on every time I have a flare up um, and this is a travel size one so I have one of these wherever I go. Um, it's, just a, it's just a normal cream and whenever I have a flare up I just apply it on there. And in the beginning when I first, when he prescribed me this, my flare ups were really really bad and I would have to put this on every single day. And then it slowly started going away. I don't know if you guys can see it now. But I do have a little bit red marks. I do have a little bit of flaking, but it is so minimal. You can't even tell I even have it unless you're this close to my face. So this has helped me so, 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 so much. I haven't had redness. I haven't had um, any kind of peeling for I don't know how long, maybe about a year and a half ever since I got this. Um, I'll put some nasty pictures of what my face used to look like before I started using this. My bathroom floor used to have all skin there and my sink, it was disgusting. I wouldn't be able to wear any black shirts because the skin from my scalp and my face would just fall all over. Try to, try to um, Google this and take a look. Maybe this might help you. Um, I also talked about using apple cider vinegar the last time where anytime I have a flare up, I'll always have a bottle of this in my bag with me with cotton balls. I will tip it over and I will dab it 
and it would burn. It would burn so badly, but it'll the um, the flare ups and the skin will disappear. But um, according to my dermatologist, it's really really bad and harsh for my skin. So he advised me to stop, and I stopped doing that two years or a year and a half ago. And ever since then, my face has totally cleared up. Now a lot of people talk about this brand and they swear by it and they love it so once my face was totally clear there are days when i have nothing this i just woke up with it this um marks and peeling i tried this out my face was totally clear and i was like you know what let me try it everybody talks about it right after i washed it off a few hours later my skin started itching and i looked in the mirror and i was like no i just started peeling so i think this just activated it and made my skin even worse. I'll insert a picture right here to show you a few hours after I used this. And before I used it, my face was totally clear. Nothing wrong with it at all. So I don't recommend this. If you do use this and it works for you, then bravo to you. But it does not work for me. But there are other stuff. There are other um, their lotions and their ointments, they work really well. I do use that for my hands, but the one for my face and with my skin condition, I don't recommend it at all. And um, yeah, let me see what else is there. And you know what? I also take a lot of vitamins. I don't know if that helps. I take vitamin C, I take zinc, B12, D3. Um, sorry, I'm looking over there because that's where all my vitamins are. And milk thistle but yeah so other than that i think that's about it yeah so that's gonna be my third update i don't know if i'm gonna have to do another update hopefully not because i don't want this to come back but as you can see whatever i'm doing i'm doing it right because i am not suffering from it anymore um cells in blue for your head works perfectly and promise up for your face it works perfectly don't use any other facial cleaners because it might activate it it does for me now if you guys have any home remedies that is different from what i use drop it down in the comment box below i would love to know and i'm sure whoever else watches this video would love to know what you guys do as well and um yeah other than that i think i'm pretty much done if you guys want again hit me up in my dms on instagram i'll leave my name or my screen name well, my name right over here and uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you guys found this video helpful again drop me any kind of questions or comments down below and i think i'll see you guys in the next video It'll probably be a vlog or a food video if you guys have any suggestions on hair videos then let me know oh yeah if you guys noticed too my hair actually got really thick but i don't know what that's from Maybe because I'm happy now that my skin isn't messed up. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And we'll see you guys next time. Take care and goodbye.